Subtitles or captions on videos come in various shapes, sizes, and styles. And as a creator, you may be wondering how to create these awesome looking subtitles on your own. So let me show you how to add subtitles to YouTube Shorts right here inside Kapwing. And so once you're inside Kapwing, you wanna go ahead and click this button right here for create new project. Now Kapwing works in various different ways. If you have a video on your computer already, you can go ahead and upload that right here. Maybe your video is already on a platform like YouTube, in which case all we need to do is grab the share link. So let's jump over to my Fresh Facts YouTube channel and we'll locate a video that I have not added subtitles to yet. Let's use this YouTube short right here. We'll click the share button and then copy the share link. Now let's jump back over to Kapwing. We'll go ahead and paste that share link into this area right here and Kapwing will go to work and fetch that video and load it up right here inside Kapwing Studio. So now we're ready to add subtitles. We'll click on this button up here for add subtitles. And then we're presented with these three options. However, right now we just wanna focus on the auto subtitle button. So let's click on that. The next thing to do is pick the original language of your video, in which case this is English. And if you need it, you can also translate a video to a different language. So now we're gonna click on this button right here and Kapwing will go to work and transcribe the audio from your video. And so once the audio from your video has been transcribed, the first thing you wanna do is go through your transcript and proofread it for any misspellings or punctuation errors. And I personally don't like to use punctuation unless it's a question mark or an apostrophe. So I go through and I remove all the periods and double check and edit the spelling of each word. So once you have proofread and edited your entire transcript here, the next step is to stylize the subtitles. All right, we can see the subtitles on the screen, but they are super small. So let's increase the size over here just to see what we're working with. Now we can see the subtitle very big and bold. And personally, I like that. I like subtitles that are easy to read. So I personally will use big, bold fonts with a background, whether it's a background like you see here or a drop shadow, something that's gonna help make that text pop off the screen and make it very easy to read for the viewer. But you're not stuck with just that look, no way. So let's click up here on text styles to view all. And here is where we have multiple different styles of text that we can apply. All these have different looks and therefore different feels. But for this one, I'm gonna use this one right here called Pop Art, because I just love the way it looks. Now, this is looking really good. However, what you'll notice when you upload videos with subtitles to YouTube Shorts or to TikTok or other platforms is there's certainly some stuff on the screen that could block or cover your subtitles. So to combat that, the folks at Kapwing have thought of this. So let's click out of the subtitle onto this black space and then over here we can show safe zones and clicking this will put the YouTube Shorts safe zone on the screen allowing you to see where the best spot to put your subtitles is so it doesn't get blocked. It also has safe zones for Instagram Reels, TikTok, or you can simply click all. So now knowing that these are the safe zones, having the text down in this area will not be a good idea because it will be blocked by stuff on screen. So what we can do is we can take this and drag it up and then over into the safe zone area. This will prevent your subtitles from being cut off on screen or covered by something else on screen. Now you might be thinking that's a lot of words on screen and I agree. So let's do this. We're gonna go back over to our transcript and then up here where it says characters per subtitle, we wanna take this from a 32 to a zero. Now you can see in the transcript here, every single line is its own subtitle. Looks fantastic. Now, just so you know, when you finish your video, it will not export it with that safe zone on top. That safe zone is only here inside Kapwing for your editing purposes. So again, let's click into this black area and we'll click on none. And now we can see it without the safe zones on. And as you can see, as I scroll through, everything looks nice and neat and fits evenly throughout the video. Now, the next step here is to export our project. So we're gonna click up here on this button for export project and then click on export as MP4. And there you go. This video is ready for download. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. That looks amazing. Now, as you can see here, there is a watermark for the Kapwing free account. If you want to upgrade your account, use the promo code in my video description below. 
Apply that to save yourself 10% when you upgrade to Kapwing Pro. Now the method I just showed you pertains to vertical video. You can also use Kapwing's auto subtitle tool for widescreen videos. In fact, I have a video right there showing you exactly how to do it step by step. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.